Ever felt that dreaded storage full message pop up while gaming? Well today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Lenovo Legion Go uh, SSD to a massive 4 terabytes, plus with a custom backplate for heat dissipation which comes in three sizes uh, with the SSD covers. Uh, you'll have a 2280 expansion port that allows you to increase your SSD without even opening the case. No more worries about running out of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey there tech lovers, it's Ren from Testicles. I want to mention that today's video is not sponsored. I purchased everything from AliExpress, but if you do decide to buy through my affiliate link, I'll receive a small commission that actually helps build up my little channel. So thank you for your support in advance. Now let's dive into the exciting world of SSD upgrades with the Lenovo Legion Go. I'll guide you through the entire process from what you'll need to the step-by-step -step upgrade, plus some bonus tips you won't want to miss. And remember, with this custom backplate, you can easily expand your storage ladle without any hassles. And again, if you enjoy our tech journey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe uh, to more of this content and ring that notification bell. Let's get started. You might be wondering, why should, why should I upgrade my SSD? If you're like me, constantly juggling games and apps, you know storage is key. More storage means more games. Fewer storage, full notifications, and a smoother gaming experience. All right, let's get down to business. What you'll need for this upgrade is obviously a replacement SSD. What I'm using is a 2280M2 NVMe SSD. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver PH00 or at least pH zero. Um, you will need some plastic sponges to just pry open, an SSD cloning software like Macrom Reflect, 4Dig, Partition Manager, Aomi Backup, uh, and then you'll probably need this, which is the Vision Go adapter converter board for 2242 to 2280. Plus, obviously, you'll need the custom backplate that you'll need to order. Um, it will be on the link in the descriptions. Make sure you have everything ready or you might find yourself improvising with a spoon. So first up, we need to clone our old SSD file. For this, I'll be using Macrom Reflect, um, but you can use any other backup software, obviously. So you just need to download and install Macrom Reflect, connect your new SSD, into the computer via USB-C. Just get probably a case, something like this. This would be sufficient enough already. Um, and then all you need to do is just choose the actual kind of disk you're using here. Uh, and then you're just gonna click the clone disk. Just remember this will overwrite everything that is on the new SSD if it is not new. Um, so double check that before you actually hit that button because you probably will have trouble trying to recover it. Yeah? So now it's time to disassemble the actual Legion Go, but I would recommend force shut down. And that's it. So now it's time for the fun part, tearing down our Legion Go. Start by powering off your device and detaching the controllers. So. Controllers like that. Next, grab your PH00 screwdriver and remove those six screws um, at the back plate and make sure you keep them safe. So 
So you'll just need some sort of prying tool just to get in. Hang on, let me try to do this. that open. Now we need to disconnect the battery. There's some tape covering the battery connector so you gently need to peel it back. So yeah you just need to peel the tape that's kind of covering SSD and preventing us from lifting the battery. Uh, that's all it is, just need to do that, just make sure it's switched off and then now we can take off the battery. So with the battery disconnected, let's remove that old SSD. As I mentioned, first you have to peel that back and then unscrew it to extract it from its slot. Make sure you switch from a PH00 to a PH0. Now it's time to install our new 4TB SSD with the Legion Go SSD memory adapter converter transfer board. Um, so you just need to make sure that's aligned. Yeah. So before we install our new SSD um, into the adapter, let's talk about this awesome custom backplate designed for heat dissipation. Uh, first you need to remove the original hinge from your kickstand. So you can see that there, those are the screws and attach them to the new backplate ensuring a snug fit using the magnets. This design improves airflow significantly. As you can see, hopefully you can see both of them. That's it. We've pretty much installed the new hinge. There we go. Works perfect. Now 
now that we have our adapter and custom backplate ready, let's slide that new SSD there. So this is So now we have the back plate ready, you can insert it back, just pull back that sticker area, and that's how you would be fitting it. So, actually, before I forget, make sure you insert the battery again. The battery is now back and soldered there. And then as you open that, slot it through there. And this pretty much once you have that. You can pretty much store So now we have our adapter and custom back plate ready. Let's slide in that shiny new 4 terabyte SSD. Oops. There we go. Now, with that, I'll probably use the smallest one for me. Make sure that's in securely. Pretty much that's it. So let's put everything back together. I already reconnected the battery. You saw you just need to place the back plate, press down, then we need to just screw everything back securely. So do that. Just need to reattach the controllers. There we are, they're all reattached now. I prefer having it as a separate drive 
So now, if we go back, there's a full four terabytes where I can install all my games there now. As I mentioned earlier, here are my top accessory picks for enhancing your Legion Go experience. A high-speed SD card for additional storage, perfect for expanding your gaming library. At the moment I have 512 and I'm going to expand mine to uh, one terabyte. A custom 3D print, new game controller where you have the left and right connectors for your Legion Go handle base, improving comfort and control while gaming and I actually picked this up as well it's a soft protective case to keep your Legion Go safe from scratches and bumps I know there is usually the hard case but I like to just have this when I'm traveling and whack this into my um, backpack or into you know my gaming little sling uh, and that's probably it so I'll just show you what it looks like if you do have it in the sling oh. So if you have it at least in the soft case, it's perfect. You can just whack it into your backpack. That's easy. So um, that's probably all I have to say. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What's your all time favorite handheld device? Let's spark some discussions together. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out our next video where we'll explore the latest gaming devices or accessories. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.